Dr. Gailrud, what are some of the consequences of acute pancreatitis? For example, what can happen to people when they get an attack? So most of the patients that have acute pancreatitis are going to do well. And most of the patients, we're talking about approximately 90% of the patients. Unfortunately, there's a 10% of the patients, or one in every 10, that may run into trouble. And they may have what we call severe acute pancreatitis. Most of the patients with severe acute pancreatitis are going to do well. But also, approximately one-third of these patients may run into trouble. Pancreatitis is also a condition that may be so severe that the patient may even die out of this condition. So it's not a trivial problem. The other thing is that when patients recover from the acute setting, there may be long-lasting effects from the severe episode of pancreatitis. And this could be problems with insulin management. It can be problems with the exocrine pancreas, with the enzymes. So acute pancreatitis in general, it's a condition where patients have a complete recovery, but in occasions they may run into trouble. And unfortunately, these are the patients that you know, we tend to see in clinic after they are uh, discharged from the hospital and that we tend to see long term. Yeah, my experience is that patients generally, as you said, fully recover from an attack of acute pancreatitis. But a few weeks or a few months down the road, if they're still having symptoms of pain or can't eat well, then that usually indicates that there's a problem that's occurred mm -hmm. as a result of that episode of acute pancreatitis.